What's up gamers? I'm John. This is my level up news where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today is Monday, February 12th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Paul Tassi, a writer for Forbes, has a great article on Destiny 2 and the future of games and servers within the game. For those who don't know, a games and servers is a service you pay for either monthly or yearly to get extra stuff in the game you're playing. You would do quests and tasks to level up your season pass and unlock new things from cosmetics to super rare weapons and items. Paul has suggested what if after the three episodes coming out after the last expansion, Bungie just makes a complete game with no paid service after. In the article, he brings up three of the biggest failed games in the last five years, all being games of service. The games were Anthem, Marvel's Avengers, and recently DC Suicide Squad Killer Justice League. With how much these games have failed, we have to bring to light the games that are doing good when it comes to games and services. Fortnite is the biggest game of service there is and it's free to play. The other games mentioned all had upfront costs. What's your thoughts on games and services and should Bungie get rid of it for Destiny? Tell me in the comments below. Silent Hill has been in the shadows of gaming over 10 years. With the latest installment being developed and it being a remake of the second Silent Hill, Konami needed to do a little research as what fans like and dislike now for their engines. This is where the free to play game, the short message comes in. They use this small game to offer players a view into the way the remake was being developed, but in turn it gave the developers feedback from what the players had to say about it. Personally, I think it's a smart move to make a free game for feedback, especially since it's been 10 years since they have released this type of game. Will you be picking up Silent Hill 2 Remake? Are you excited for it? Tell me in the comments below. New rumors have come up over the weekend that Fortnite is looking for another anime crossover. When they have done anime crossovers in the past, they have sold a lot of skins. They are millions of Naruto and Dragon Ball series fans, and bringing them into the Fortnite role was quite crazy but made both sides millions of dollars. Now there are rumors that Fortnite is working with Ichiro Oda to bring One Piece to the massive world of Fortnite. With all the success that One Piece has been having within the last year, with 5th Gear happening, the live action Netflix show, and now Netflix releasing day and day to Japan, it's definitely the right move for Fortnite. Would you guys jump in if Luffy and the gang make their way into Fortnite? Helldivers 2 has had fans going crazy the past weekend. PlayStation and Steam have been showing positive reviews throughout the last two days. The Steam reviews have been mostly positive. Online, many gaming websites have rated the game 80 or up, but for some reason there has been a mob of angry gamers giving the game negative reviews in Metacritic. Most of the hate is coming from the multiplayer parts of the game. A lot of people have friends they play with, and there are many more that like to play single player games. Fans are saying that Sony made the game and didn't think about the people who love playing single player. Maybe an update of the future will change this. The next Nintendo hardware is yet to be revealed. With all the rumors about the hardware and what it will bring, Sega is jumping in on the bandwagon and making sure that their remix and sequels are on the system. There is no question that before we had the great wars of generations between PlayStation and Xbox, we had Sega vs Nintendo. Nintendo won that war and now Sega puts their games on Nintendo hardware amongst others. Rumors are saying that Jet Set Radio, Shinobi, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, and Crazy Taxi are all coming to the next Nintendo hardware. New rumors have emerged over the weekend about Xbox having a secret meeting with internal teams of the company. They wanted to go over the future of Xbox and wanted to make sure that the internal teams knew what they were up to. It's probably the same meeting we'll be getting this week when we get the update from Xbox. The rumors about the weekend meeting include the following. First, they wanted to reassure employees that the company will continue to be in the hardware battle. And second, was that Phil Spencer was the one that held the town meeting for the company. With everything going on in the last two months in the Xbox household, we can only hope they come out breathing and no more people get fired. And for those that love Grand Theft Auto and want to play the trilogy, you can now play it on Netflix. After the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer was released, Netflix gamers started to download the original trilogy and made it a top played game on Netflix. Grand Theft Auto 6 will be the biggest release in 2025 and you can bet Netflix has something up their sleeve so when the game comes out. And every gaming website is now covering how PlayStation and Xbox numbers are looking insane. Sony has sold 50 million units compared to Xbox's 27 million units sold. That's a vast deficit and with all the problems Xbox have been having to see these numbers must hurt even more. We will have to wait and see what they say this week and if they even bring up the difference in numbers. I never liked console wars but I knew it was a necessary evil because it just breeds better games and consoles for every consumer. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up on your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.